Hello everybody and welcome back. So today is going to be an incredibly busy day. I have the mortgage to pay today, which is £2,500. I only have 1873 This is not good. Now luckily, there is a place which I should buy potatoes all the time. So if I have to just sell some potatoes on their own, I can do. So there's no, there's no problem with actually making the money today. It's just if I have to rush and sell some without washing them and sorting them, I'm not going to make as much. So I really want to get some washed and sorted today. It doesn't have to be all of them, just some of them. So I have everything ready here. As you can see, I've got the nice potato bucket with the weight in it, which wasn't ideal, but yes, it's in there. And this uh, trailer is also full of extra potatoes as well. So let's head off. We're going to be going over to Dennis's place. Now he was uh, actually fell in the water up overnight. Apparently he was going to throw the hose pipe into the, into the washer. Let's just go this way. Um, so yes, he said it basically took a night to fill. So it should be full, with a bit of luck. Um, and then when, when, the, when the dirty water is, you know, not really clean enough anymore to wash any more potatoes, we then have to get more water and fill it up again, which will take a bit more time. So we, we actually do have a limit to how much we can actually wash today anyway. But just as long as I can wash enough to then bring back here and sort them, um, yeah, that would be enough to be able to repay the mortgage. So all is good. I'm probably going to have to stop off at the fuel station as well at some point today just to get a bit more food. Obviously, not at the moment, not with this setup. That's just going to be too awkward. But yeah, at some point, I just need to pop in um, and then just get the essentials. We'll top it with the essentials. So I don't know where Dennis is. I would imagine he is once again in the house. I would have thought that is the place where he would be at 7.15 in the morning. Soon find out because his car will be there. I don't even know why he has the van. Oh, he isn't there. Maybe he's checking up on the potato washer. Getting it all sorted. Well, we'll soon find out. This is a very rough track. You should really sort it out. Uh, yeah, what I've done to mine is just amazing now. It's so smooth. It was expensive, but it was worth doing. Right then, so... Should be ready and waiting for us. Ah! No, he's here. With the tanker. Hang on. Wait a second. That's Peter Wood's tanker. I didn't know he'd bought that. Dennis, when did you buy this? Oh, did I win? Oh, sorry to alarm you, Dennis. I didn't know you were resting. Or hiding. Oh, I'm not hiding, Dagwin. Oh, the potato washer's ready for you. Thanks. Good to see you filled it up. And, uh, well, congratulations on your latest purchase. You have bought it, haven't you? Well, it was, uh, sort of borrowed. You stole it. From Peter's yard. Well, he did try and poison my sheep. Okay, Dennis, this is the moment where I back away and ignore what you're doing. Some illegal activity, no doubt. Thanks for filling up the potato washer with water, though. Okay, well, I'm not getting involved with that, but I'm going to just reverse this back into the other pile. We'll add this to the other pile, and then I can start to scoop it up and put it into the uh, potato washer. The reason why I've put the pile sort of over that side is because I do need to have access to the left side of the machine, since that is where it actually unloads the washed potatoes to. There we go. So next I need to drop off the trailer somewhere. The trailer is going to be used because that is how I'm going to transport the washed potatoes back over to the potato sorter. It is a lot of labour actually, um, but I just hope it is going to uh, pay off. Now, I actually also do have another payment to make within the next week. It doesn't have to be today, but that is for the uh, potato harvester. Yesterday, when we had that driver who just drove off, um, well, I did chase it up. I spoke to the company, and they just said, there's nothing we can do about it. If you weren't there with the trailers, then, uh, well, they had the right to drive off. So I'm going to pay them in full. I mean, I wasn't there with the trailer, I know, but it would have just been a bit more courteous to at least get in contact first. So yeah, many of my viewers suggested paying 20% or not paying at all. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean 20% off would have been okay, but I suppose if you look at it that way, I wasn't there. I wasn't there with the trailer. So on this occasion, I will pay in full. I think it was £400. 
So we do have quite a bit to make back, but yeah, I'll pay that later in the week. Right then. So in go these potatoes. And the potato washer can be switched on. It's a fairly simple device actually. It rotates cleaning the potatoes. I'll try and get as many of these in as possible because it would be good to clear a fairly nice space here. Uh, and it doesn't take too long to wash them either, which is nice. So I will continue and then we'll hopefully be able to back the trailer underneath the uh, conveyor there, fill it up with the washed potatoes and then go and take them over to the saucer. Now we can, if we want to, just sell them washed, but I think they pretty much triple in price uh, if you do sort them as well because, you know, the suppliers do want to have the, the best potatoes, the sorted potatoes, so it really is taking a massive amount of labour off their end. Oop, that was a little bit too far over the right. And there we go. So I'll continue. Right, okay, so that is all full. Let's just climb up here. As you can see, the hopper is full. Uh, we've actually run out of space over at the end here. So this is gonna have to be unloaded into a trailer. Goes up the conveyor belt here. So let's just, um, well, reattach the trailer over there, back it under there, and start filling it up. Really, I could do with two tractors over here. Yeah, I wasn't considering that one. It's not gonna be big enough for that. Uh, he does have a massive focus in here. Dennis, where is it? Where's he gone? Oh yeah, I don't know what's in that shed there either. It would be interesting if he did a vlog on going in there. Um, where did he go? I didn't see him walk off. Dennis? I have no idea. Well, he said he did say that I can use his tractors any time, so... Well, he goes and uses other people's stuff any time. He has literally stolen that tanker, uh, which I am not impressed about. If I had known he was going to steal a tanker, I would have just gone over to the dealership and rented one. Okay, there we go. So let's see if I can get this right first time. I want to be as close as possible, really, to the potato washer, because I need to get more potatoes into there. I think the amount of water that Dennis has put in there is fine. That's not an issue. Okay, so let's very quickly remove the strap so that we can pull the sheet over. And there we go, washed potatoes. Uh, so it is the first time I've actually washed potatoes. In the past I've never actually seen it as a profitable thing to do, but it actually is, I think. Well, from what Dennis has said anyway. So that is that load done. Now the potato wash should start up again. You can see it's turning, it's tumbling. There's a good view. So we pass through here, get washed by the water dirt falls off and they end up at the other end. It's a bit like a, a soil server, a compost server, something like that. And we have the, uh, the dirty ones still here waiting to go through. So every now and then I will just set that going into the trailer. But as you can see the trailer's on this full already. It's amazing what a good view you can get of things from standing on top of a tractor cab. Alright, well while I'm waiting for that to process some more, I'll just try and finish off here. We do still have quite a few to put in. Um, yeah, probably about 2,000, 3,000 more litres. Which I would have a guess at as being about a thousand pounds worth. Oh, it's a bit less than that. There we go. So all the potatoes are now in the washer. So in theory that is now it done, the uh, potato bucket, this tractor can now head back. In fact I'll do just that, I will head back and then I'm going to have to walk back. In fact what I'll do is I'll walk back and I'll go over to the fuel station, get some food and then we'll pick up that tractor and take it over to my potato sorter, or oh, Dennis's potato sorter. Yeah. 
yeah, I'll put this out of the way somewhere down the bottom here. Uh, I need to keep that area there clear, near the potato slaughter itself, so uh, yeah, I think I'll just put it over here. So next week, that field there, I'm hoping to get cultivated. And then, well, not, not quite yet, but we'll, we'll get it drilled in the, uh, in the autumn. But yeah, I'm thinking um, oilseed should be a good crop. So yes, I'm going to be putting the uh, washed potatoes here. So then I'm going to sort them here. And then, of course, we can take them off the back of here and put it back into a trailer. Ready for selling. I think one trailer load today will be fine. Anyway, as I was saying, we'll head over to the fuel station to get a bit of food. And then, oh, oh Dennis is picking me up. I was not expecting that. Dennis. I thought you might need a lift, Darwin. That is very good of you. But, uh, where's the tanker gone? I've returned it. Nobody would ever know. Except you posted a vlog about it, didn't you? Ah. Oh. Well, what are the chances of Peter watching? Um, quite high, I would have thought. He used to watch nearly all my vlogs. Anyway, Dennis, let's go. Well, we've we've just stopped at the fuel station. Dennis is fabulous parking as usual. Let me get some food. There we go. Uh, Dennis, <laughs> I do I do not feel safe in his vehicle. It's a thirty, Dennis. I thought it was a sixty. My legs are attached. My arms. I'm still alive. I am still alive after being in the same vehicle as Dennis. It's a surprise. Okay, so one of my trailers, well, the, the trailer is now full. Um, it's my first trailer load. We'll be coming back for more, but like I say, it just depends how long it takes to sort them. I am not expecting it to take too long, but of course, once we have sorted them, we're going to have to pick them up again with the tractor and front load. So it's quite a repetitive task in a way, but it's also definitely going to be worth it. Here he goes. I think he is on something, though. I think washing them and sorting them is going to be worth it. We're going to find out today if it's worth it. But he claims that this is the way forward. Wow, I keep fear, forgetting how rough this place is. Because my one, my track is now much smoother. I thought it might be a bit of an issue squeezing through there, but actually no. It's a wider track than it looks. So once again we are back at the farm. So I think going this way around will be the easiest. Now I know I haven't featured Paula too much in the videos recently. She's been very busy though looking after Bob and the sheep. Um, I'm sure she'll be back in it again very soon. But like I said, she doesn't really like to be in the videos. So we'll, we'll uh, try and persuade her. My understanding is we're actually going to have a few scraps. Um, so that can either be given to pigs, which we don't currently have, or we can sell that as a bit of pig food. Just depends what I want to do with it really, but I think to begin with I'm not going to do too much with it. There we go. Just leave that there. And well, there you go, that's that's the conveyor belt system ready to go. It's going to put it all into here, and then we've got the two outputs as I've already explained. We've got the fantastic finest potatoes which have been sorted and washed and we've got the scraps which are unwanted there we go they're sorting very exciting stuff so very simple process really convey but picks them up puts them into the sorter it sorts them we keep the good stuff and we keep both but we can also uh, either dispose of the bad stuff or sell the bad stuff it doesn't really matter quite satisfying about watching that conveyor and the sorter the way the sorter bounces the potatoes I've never seen it work before so I'm gonna go and have some food and then we'll be back in 15 minutes or so and hopefully by then the first batch will be ready okay so I've just been over to the dealership before it closed and I have picked up a different bucket I've actually replaced the other bucket because the other one was not going to be suitable for the scraps because it's lots of little pieces that would have all fallen through the uh, 
potato loading bucket. So we've just gone through like a multi-purpose one here. Uh, it's the same capacity and everything. It's all the same size. It's just it's different because it's solid. Nothing can fall through it. But the good news is the potato sorter has finished because it is now currently full of premium potatoes. So we'll get that loaded up. As you can see, they're filling it up. And we're going to put them into the trailer over there, which I've positioned nicely. So I'm going to get as many done today. I think the... I'm fairly sure that the merchant who buys the premium potatoes, I think they close at 6. Um, so I have to obviously be there and, and all done by 6. So probably 5.30 at the latest. And then I'll take this back over to... I'll take the trailer back over to Dennis's place to fill it up with more washed potatoes overnight. But this is impressive. I'm very happy about this. All I can say is I hope that they are as profitable as Dennis claims they are. But he's gone to the effort of bringing all this equipment across. Why would he do that if it's not worth doing? It must be because it is worth doing. Unless it's one of Dennis's terrible practical jokes. But that would be a very expensive practical joke. It cost him a fortune to have a, a truck deliver his potato washer to his farm. Well that is everything that has been processed so far. It's 21 minutes past 5 so I need to be pretty fast. Um, the trailer isn't full but there's still quite a lot of premium potatoes in there so this is a bit of a test and just basically to get enough money to pay the mortgage. So we'll go. I'll leave that sorting because it should be able to just continue on its own um, and then we, yes we'll finish off by paying the mortgage and putting this back over at Dennis's to collect the next load of washed potatoes. So how well is this going to go? We've got quite a bit in the trailer. It's nowhere near full but we still have some. Is it going to be enough to pay off the mortgage? I hope so because if I overrun then I'm going to be charged interest uh, and that would just be terrible. So I have to pay it off today. The only place I'm aware of which buys the premium potatoes currently is over in this direction through the town. There might be more but yes, this is the only one I've heard of so far. So yeah, through the town. And I think it's actually just as you're going up to Peter's farm. It's down the left hand side. In fact, not far from here at all. Let's see. This is the moment when we find out if Dennis has been pulling our leg and also how much we actually do get for them. I think it was this place here. Yes, it was the mill. Uh, now, where do they want inbound products? Let's just see. I think it's actually over there. If I just spin round. There we go. It's tight. I would not want to bring a truck in here. Right then. Here goes. Wow. Yep. Premium potatoes are worth it. It's worth the effort. £7,416 for that payment. It was only about six bucket loads, I would say. And we have loads and loads more to wash. This is incredible. I'm surprised Dennis isn't just planting fields of potatoes since he has the equipment to actually clean and sort them. Oh, that'd be amazing. Maybe I should buy them off him in, in the future. We could just do that, it'd be incredible. We could have a really successful potato farm. Anyway, yeah, when I've uh, dropped off the trailer, I will then pay the mortgage. And I think that'll bring us to a figure of 175,000 remaining. But looking at this, that is soon going to change. Next week. We'll have to pay off a big lump sum. Or maybe I can buy some more land with this sudden massive income. Although I must be careful because I don't really have much income through the winter. In fact, nothing, because the sheep won't have any wool to sell. Obviously, I've got no crops to sell. So this money is to keep me going until this time next year. I wonder if I can drive in forwards. I probably can't, actually. It's quite a tight yard to turn around in. There is space to back into there, which is useful. And then back around the corner. And then straight back once again. He still hasn't sold his wool. He must be keeping it until the price is really high. 
Right, let's get that conveyor going. And I will pay off the mortgage. Done. Okay, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Dennis. And, well, I'm just not happy about what Dennis did with the tanker. Anyway, see you again soon. Bye for now.